Welcome again to another Final Cut Pro quick tip. I'm Casey with ShotOnDSLR.com and today we're going to learn some quick sequence settings. So uh, you find yourself in a situation where you have a nice video. We have Mark and Emma here. And this is a, a simple example, but sometimes you might have a, a pretty complicated edit laid out in a sequence and uh, you might want to copy it to another sequence and this might be because you want to combine it with another edit or you want to try something crazy and you don't want to ruin anything or uh, simply just to back it up. Uh, so what you do is you go to new sequence and you call it, um, I don't know, new sequence, call it that. Copy everything, command C, open up your new sequence, command V, and you get render bars. What is the deal with that? Works fine over here, doesn't it? But over here, render bars. The problem with just copying to a new sequence is the sequence settings. So let's go look at our sequence settings here. In our sequence settings, we have frame size 1440 by 1080, HD 16 by 9, uh, ProRes 422, 2398. And let's look at this sequence. It is 854 by 480 because we are using our proxy, nice proxy footage, uh, at ProRes 422 proxy. Uh, 4816 square pixels. So um, they're obviously different settings and that's why you're getting render bars. And so rather than fighting everything and rendering it, since it it's confused anyway, it has no idea what to do. So I'm gonna show you a really simple and quick way to set your sequence to um, accept your new files without having to go through every single little option and set it and remember what it's supposed to be and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is delete this sequence. I'm going to make a new one and call it awesome quick tip. Okay, I'm going to open that and I'm simply going to take some of my footage. This is actually from baby. I'm going to take baby and I'm just going to drag it down into here and then this little nifty window is going to pop up. This window is your friend because all it's saying is, hey, do you want the uh, video you dragged in here to act like your sequence or do you want the sequence to act like your video? And so if you say yes, what it's going to do is change all the sequence settings to play nice and happy and happy time with uh, your video. So go ahead and hit yes and check that out. No render bars, but you wanted your edit over here, didn't you? So all you have to do is just delete. And so you have an empty sequence with the correct settings. Let's go look at them. 854 by 480, ProRes 422 proxy. And we're gonna just copy this over like that. Uh, for something as simple as this, you could probably just uh, duplicate your sequence, but this is kind of in a situation where you'd have a whole bunch of stuff before this or after this, and you don't necessarily want to copy the whole sequence over or maybe you're combining sequences. So it's a lot quicker than going through and uh, setting all of these things, and it will save you a lot of time. Thanks again, and make sure to visit more tutorials at shotondslr.com.